Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new group Iron Man video. If you guys missed any of the previous uploads, I will be leaving the link of the playlist in the description. Please go ahead and check it out. Also, if you are enjoying the series, consider giving me a like. It does help a ton to get the videos recommended to more people. And we're starting today off with the stats of 89 strength already. Our best gloves at the moment that we're able to purchase are dragon gloves. So in today's episode, we definitely want to be finishing of Barrow's gloves. However, we do have a little bit of a problem and that is the fact that we do not have enough magic logs in order to complete desert treasure. Therefore, I can't do that quest yet. I will be needing one more magic log, which is really unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna start today off with a little bit of questing. We might be jumping into Slayer in this episode. I'm honestly not quite sure. I'm pretty excited to see where it takes us. The stats are really, really high. The combat level is almost 90 and obviously I'm rushing that 99 strength first. Right, let's get into it. Well, that's the first collection log pop-up from the Slayer grind, and that's uh, bronze boots. I never knew that was a pop-up, but they will stay on the floor, and I will never pick them up, because I have climbing boots. And there's 23 Slayer as well. I am probably going to be doing 9 easy Slayer tasks, and then the 10th one will take it from Crystalia. The idea is we'll get a brimstone keys, and hopefully I can get some magic logs from those, but if I'm unsuccessful in that way, I might just do a little bit of winter, Todd. And that is nine tasks in a row completed, so now let's go to Cristilia and see if she can offer us something good. All right, then, the very first Konar... Did I say Cristilia? I meant Konar. Okay, every time I said Cristilia in the past, Konar is who I meant. Let's see what she has for us. Dagonov in the Catacombs of Korand. I think that's actually fairly decent. Uh, is it safe, though? It's not very safe, but I'll be fine. I'll just flick through it. I do believe the seed drops are decent, and maybe we get some, uh, some, some keys. Now, with all of the time being spent AFK in crabs or grinding out quests or just generally playing our hardcore group Iron Man account, I spend a lot of my time on the computer. This means I am continually exposed to blue light, which can seriously damage my eyes and lead to a lack of sleep and have a negative impact on my concentration. Obviously, none of that is great if you're playing hardcore group Iron Man. Now, this is where GMG performance glasses come in. They will help protect against the blue light and preserve your eyesight against long-term screen use. A new generation of their glasses have been released for Black Friday. They are even more resistant and effective against blue light in order to improve your overall gaming experience. They have a stylish and white collection of glasses. Right now, I'm wearing the optimizer and I love how they look and they they are super high quality. For Black Friday week, GMG is offering a massive 50% discount. It is their best offer of the year and it ends on November 29th at 11.59pm PST, so it is not to be missed. It is your only chance to get a pair of the brand new generation for just half the price, all you need to do is check out the link in the description. I would like to say a big thank you to GMG Performance Glasses for supporting the channel, and now we can continue on with the video. The very first Slayer task, proper one at least, gave us a bunch of points because I did 9 of the bad tasks first, and now we have 4 skips available pretty much, but let's see what do we get. Fire Giants in the Catacombs of Karend. That seems like a pretty decent task to do, it's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Alright, well this is what a 6 hour log on crabs looks like, this is pretty much all I've been doing all day, 60k XP an hour, and in 6 hours, we pretty much got, what, 450k XP. We're already up to 92 strength, I am kinda pushing for 99 right now, while I'm playing some New World, so yeah, let's keep this going. Alright then, so I've been fairly unproductive uh, when it comes to RuneScape, just been AFKing crabs for pretty much an entire day, yesterday, a little bit of today. We're up to 93 strength, I have two options here, either return to Slayer, or do some quests, I'm leaning towards quests while I'm in the mood, and then Slayer uh, after that probably, and then I'll definitely come back to crabs, honestly. So let's go do a couple of quests, I think I have a couple extra items that I needed, like Limpurt Roots for Temple of Eikhoven and whatnot, so let's get at it. Now the first thing we need to do is get our thieving up. Now level 42 is the requirement for Temple of Eikhoven, and level 53 is the requirement for Desert Treasure. So depending on how I'm feeling, I might knock down 53 thieving straight away. So the idea is you run between these fruit stalls in Hasidias, 
you eat all the all the little strange fruits that give you run energy and then you're just dropping everything else between the thieving like that that's if you want to do it very efficiently if you want to kind of afk it you can just sit at one fruit stall uh, but that's gonna be me for the next couple of hours i've decided i'm going for 45 thieving here so i'll be able to blackjack then i'll do the quests and then once i am able to do desert treasure i'll finish off from 45 to 53 thieving whilst blackjacking in polnivnich well that's 45 thieving done i'm now gonna finish temple of Ikov. That is Temple of Ikov done. A bunch of fletching and ranged XP. Do we get any levels? That's fletching and that's it. Death to the Dorgishan done. Now we can actually enter the city and we're able to buy a bullseye lantern which I need for the next quest. Buying bullseye lantern empty and then using the swamp tar on it and sapphire on it. Is that it? Light it. Oil. What do you mean I need to add oil? Yeah, honestly, I have no idea. I hope this will work, right? Sapphire lantern, sapphire lantern. I don't know why it's red. Okay, so good thing I went through with it. What I needed was a tar. I used it on a lamp still, and then I needed another empty sapphire lantern, and then I just uh, was able to light it, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, now we have everything to complete Tears of Gothics. That is Tears of Gothics done. A little bit of crafting XP, but now also once a week. Uh, you guys know I'm able to basically get experience in my lowest skill. This week, it's going to be hunter let's begin and see how much xp we get 104 tiers i do believe i complete a hard task with that as well there it is lumbridge and Dreiner diary and we go from 9 to 15 hunter which is you know pretty all right i should honestly start considering doing birdhouses pretty soon here uh, but right now my teammate ended up getting enough magic logs for me to actually finish desert treasure so it is time to get 53 thieving well here is two hours of thieving later and we got ourselves 53 we can now do a desert treasure i do believe i have all the items everything i need uh, let's get at it all right let's see if we get the deadman mode treatment with these lock picks right now this quest is another one of those quests that i've done probably 18 times over and looks like now nah, you're trolling second pickaxe i mean second lock pick and we already got it well then that is uh, nice very nice we used one lock pick amazing okay so if this is still the same you're able to hit this bat like this make your way a little bit up and it will have priority over the Damis. So now you can just stay here and kill Damis first before you... Well, yeah, you just don't take any damage, basically. You can use the bat as a safe spot. Really good tip. All right, that is Damis defeated. We grab the Shadow Diamond and let's move on to the next one. I'm not 100% sure how this will work. Usually I do this in Deadman mode with 99 range and magic shortbow. This time around I'm doing it with Tom of Fire and Mage. I'm also using a recoil ring just in case. So let's see, if I play melee, he should always be hitting me fives, and I should be able to just out-eat his damage. So every time he hits me, I'm gonna eat like that, and then I'll just utilize the recoil and my damage to hopefully kill it without problems. Okay, so not as easy as I remember, but easy enough. Alright, that's the blood diamond, nice. Hey, look! Look who we found, we found the stranger. He's unfortunately targeting the wrong person, but we're good with that. Alright, nice, another one dead. We don't have much prayer left, but we don't need it. We get a couple of cakes and another super restore, so... Thank you very much for that, let's continue. Alright, that should be Ice Diamond done. I saved the troll's parents and we should be good to go, right? Teleport me out anytime now. There it is, and that's the third diamond and arguably the hardest diamond to get. And now we should be pretty close to completing the quest. And that's the last diamond, beautiful. Let's go ahead and finish this thing. Do not fail me now, bro. If I fail now, I'll be so sad. Come on, there it is. Nice, zero fails, that's so good. I'm pretty much, I have no energy, no nothing, so... Yeah, pretty happy to get it done in first try. Right then, here we go. A big quest completion coming right up. This one is important. Uh, Desert Treasure, one of those quests that we will use a lot. Like the ancient spells, whatever it is. 20k magic XP, a little bit of quest points. We're now up to 59 magic. Very cool. And also, I need to switch off of Ancients. I don't want to be on Ancients just yet, but once we start slaying, that spellbook is going to be really, really important. We are 14 quest points away, but right now it is time for me to go and AFK a little bit. And I'll go through with the quests tomorrow. Time to stop procrastinating. Let's do the last couple of quests. First one, Missile and Mystery. Completed. Hi guys, just completed Clock Town. This is huge for the account. We're almost at Barrow's Clubs. Yeah, I'll see you at the next quest completion <laughs> perfect yeah that, that's about right bon voyage is done thank you very much we can now 
I think, how do we go down of this? Boom, we're on the land right now, perfect. Okay, bon voyage done. We can now do like seaweed runs and all that sort of thing. Uh, will I do that? Probably not. Maybe at some point uh, we'll repair this in the future. But we are 11 quest points away from the Barrow's Gloves. Goddamn easiest three quests in the world. Right, uh, eight more to go. I think that's another one. How much are we talking? One quest point, a little bit of strength XP, seven more to go. And that's getting ahead done as well for some crafting, construction XP and... And coins six more quest points to go beautiful let's keep this going all right all right two quest points i can work with that give me four more and we are done i think i might go for a haunted mine next to get myself amulets all right then let's see how this boss feels with 94 strength we're gonna equip the dds we're gonna go crazy so i know a lot of people struggle with this boss apparently it's like fairly annoying or whatever and there it is that was uh pretty simple well that's why you afk crabs to 94 strength before you do your quests make sure you're not telling this I stole the dragon dagger from the chest, but anyways quest about to be done I don't know how many quest points this gives hopefully it gives four I don't think so and if it doesn't I guess I just do one or two more quests But I'm really excited to get my barrels gloves right now. There it is 22k XP most importantly though We do get the little salve shards. Oh, uh, I don't know where I'll be using them But this is definitely useful when you're killing like I think it is undeads or ghosts or whatever it is uh, Yeah, two quest points missing. Let's get that done quickly. All right good fight. All right There it is mountain daughter done some prayer some attack experience but most importantly the last of the quest points we needed to do the bosses for the recipe for disaster so that being said it is time for us to kill the bosses why did i teleport here i do not know and uh, yeah hopefully we don't die doing it uh, i mean i don't really know how hard they will be but yeah let's just do our best all right i'm pretty sure i'm unable to teleport so if i disconnect there goes our life but that being said let's begin with the first fight that is the first boss down let's quickly leave before flambeed okay for this one we need ice gloves all right good fight flambeed that's the second one down this one caramel is pretty annoying for this one we want to make sure we run right next to her and then we just major basically okay that is caramel done let's quickly leave very cool. And that's this guy dead. I need to be careful for the mother here. Eat before I leave so I can get one hit just like that. Alright, arguably the hardest boss in the game can hit up to 40. Well, the hardest boss out of these bosses, should I rather say. Okay, well that was not easy at all. Let's make sure it's dead before we run. Perfect, and now the last boss to go. Alright, and time for the last boss. Apparently this one is the easiest one of them all. Alright, there it is. Next hit does it. There it is. Barrow's Gloves pretty much obtained. I just need to somehow scam my team of 100 130 k gp and we actually have gloves on the account as well with absolutely nice stats 94 strength already obtained there we go a recipe for disaster completed we get a nice little antique lamp we can now use on well not herblor apparently so uh yeah i might keep this for a little bit it seems like i need to be level 50 to use it in uh, but yeah let's grab some coins and let's get the barrows gloves took me a little bit of convincing but there it is 110k in the group storage if i quickly yoink it go back to the bank and i I'm now able to basically afford Barrow's Gloves, which is one of those things we've been working towards pretty much since episode number one. And there it is, Barrow's Gloves obtained on the account just like that. And do we look like an absolute beast right now or what? Man, this is amazing. And the stats are looking very good. And obviously, I should probably equip Ring of Life as well on top of that. But man, that looks amazing. I'm probably gonna grind 99 strength, maybe do a little bit of Slayer on the side. We'll see how we feel. But uh, yeah, very satisfied with the progress of the account at the moment couple of days later and we are basically almost 99 strength the timing is a bit unfortunate as neighbors have been drilling for the last five hours no clue what they're doing but yeah i'm gonna be finishing off the strength here and after that i'll just afk defense until we do dks later on the whole team the whole squad's gonna get together we're gonna be doing dks it's gonna be awesome but for now let's finish off this 99 strength because i spent so long afking here the fact that i started this account exactly 16 days ago this is probably the fastest i've ever done a 1 to 99 in like runescape before obviously strength is not a fast skill at all i spent a lot of hours afking these crabs for this moment 99 strength on a group hardcore iron man account that we started a month late so 17 or 16 days ago is when we started this account and we have it done so now uh, at some point when i stop afking i'm probably gonna get a strength cape but in the future when i get to 99 defense i'll probably be rocking with a defense cape because it acts like a ring of life 
so yeah i'm gonna spend the remaining of today afking and then later on as i said we're doing a big dk strip with the boys so that should be pretty exciting uh but yeah i don't think there's many group iron man players with 99 strength out there at the moment so uh the fact that i already have these done um you know i i i mean all i did was log in every single day and afk crabs i must have killed like 60,000 plus of those um but yeah happy that it's done let's continue on with defense even the neighbors decided to stop drilling so life is pretty good right now shout out to dieter for hooking me up with some good old cash 150k Ooh. and we can now buy the strength cape perfect thank you thank you all right let's go get it here he is slowane let's ask him for a skill cape of strength let's give him 99k and there it is it's been a while since i have equipped this uh but goddamn, do we look good all right so mandatory skill cape emote coming right up boom dude i'm actually so hyped right now if i just get a little bit of defense level my hp level is really high already um and my team is basically at the at the moment able to pvm i mean they've been actually properly playing the game while i've been um yeah i've been i've been doing crabs guys i've been doing crabs i'm not gonna lie i've been playing new world and crabs that's what i've been up to but luckily i now have unlimited teleport very quickly like very close to the bank and i think i'll be utilizing this a lot throughout uh, the progression of the account so yeah really looking forward to the future honestly and uh, yeah let's just go back at crabs i mean it's the only thing i know how to do in this game so uh yeah let's go ahead and do it all right so for the past i'd say week i've just been afking crabs and these are my stats right now 90 hit points 99 strength 83 defense already and it appears that we are actually going to be doing a dk strip right now so we'll gear up properly and uh, yeah we'll go right into dk's hopefully snag some nice drops for the group some dragon axes would be very useful obviously all the rings could be very useful as well so i'm pretty excited to go at it and uh, yeah let's uh, let's see if we get some good drops all right we're slowly gearing up for the trip first thing i want to do is i want to actually buy myself a staff of well whatever this is called ancient staff and i also changed to ancient so we can now pretty much use blood rush so that's going to be our sustain option in the dk's uh, everything else is pretty much ready at this point, I'd say. All right, it is time. Looks like we are going for a DK strip with the boys. So free for all on the drops, right? Who gets them, keeps them, or what? No. <laughs> okay. Dude, what do you bro, mean? No, they're not using them. They go on the, the CB, bro. Ah, uh, fair. Yo, I think I might die here. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing, Maz? Walk me through it like you're, you're ready to hop over and, pr and pray what? We're going to pray mage when we go down. Okay, and what what style I'm gonna use? We're we're just gonna just follow me. You're gonna oh, what the hell? This thing's hitting me, dude. You can go oh. down. You can go down. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Pray mage. You just just uh, use your blood spell. You sure this shit is frozen, bro? Make sure you pray melee if you're getting bro, hit. By the way, bl the blood bl blood rush is like a five second freeze, bro. Ice, I, I have ice rush, bro. What can this shit max? What? <laughs> like thirty. Okay. You can pray melee, oh. dinner. By the way, just pray melee, because the major what? isn't on us. Oh, I'm burying the bones, you already know. If you plan on flicking, don't flick on Major, just flick on others. I am flicking shit, bro. Fair. I think I know how to flick. You know what I mean, you though, like... You must be troll. Nah, you... Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Bro, oh, my shit. I'm getting destroyed, dude. I'm literally dying, yeah. I'm gonna blood blitz this little spine op, dude. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm legit getting destroyed. I don't know why you guys are laughing at me. It's fine, I brought extra carambas. You can eat some. Only we had... Only have rune kites and rune flip bodies. 9-2? Well, I'll take that. Do the fucking crystal shell quest, you mook. Like... <laughs> I, I did the quest. Is it your mother the mother of all failures? Because you, so you're the son? Why are you bringing my mom into this DK's trip, bro? What did she ever do to you? A lot, bro. Well, Lucian actually has a lot of range. Defense, yeah. Like, why am I hitting zeros? No, I mean, like, no, crystal like Why do you mage it? <laughs> yeah, why are you mage it, Mazza? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Bro. So if it's just hitting you, why don't I just take off my prime mage? I think it's switch. Turn. Yeah, and this hits right. like what sixties or something stupid. I'm getting into him. I'm getting around him. This guy thinks he's a mathematician. Your mother's a mathematician. Oh, prayer level. Let's go. <laughs> yup, sixty mage on the DK strip. Cool, cool. Shut up. Sit down. <laughs> Hell no, did you got defense cape with Zerk ring? It's better. No shot. He's not wrong. That's the play, like, actually. And then if you DC, you have Ring of Life for free. But then you're the... a defense that cape was, noob. That was Alka's logic for not having the Inferno cape. I mean, yeah, But then you're it. a def... 
but then you get, tro you get the, yeah i'll let you i'll let you lose our lives on inferno man it's good <laughs> i'm not losing shit bro i'm a i'm a pvm specialist on god you already know i'll have the defense cape in a week man get him boys <laughs> Why do you speak like that? I don't know why he does it, bro. I don't know why he does it. Bro, like, if I wanted, you could just get fat on the mic, bro. Like, we don't need to hear this, bro. What's going on? Bro, that's a weird attempt to get fat on the mic, bro. You fucking okay or what? Oh, my God. Dragon, Dragon Axe! Oh, okay. Oh, my yeah, that's God. Good. Is that nice. good? I have no idea. That's, that's good, good, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's good shit. <laughs> is that good? I don't know if that's good. I'm full. I'm not even, I don't even have a bar above my head. Oh! Okay. Seize your food. I'm panicking. Please use your food. Bro, chill. Bro. Dude, he did that for an archer helm. Or what? Oh my god. 9 twos on 20 HP, bro. I CBA. <laughs> bro, chill, bro. 9 twos on 20 HP, bro. Oh, oh, wait, we got a warrior's ring. We got a warrior's ring. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh my god, I fucking hate my life. <laughs> Is that all good? Oh, no. we got the B ring. We got the B ring. We got the B ring. You are yeah, joking. Yeah, that's yeah. like actually the worst yeah, drop. Can I get my warrior's ring, though? What we said. Oh, I can't wait to go back to Krabs. It's gonna be so fun. Oh, oh my god, we're last rich. kill. <laughs> we're fucking wait, rich. Oh. Last kill, we got another fucking, what's it called? DX. Say less. Oh, yeah, another, what's it called? Just tell out or what? Uh, yeah, yeah we, we dip, we dip. Uh, this is the back to back. We have to go to Bro, the back. Bro, I just left. <laughs> Bro, no. I tell you now. <laughs> we have to tell you now. All right, Nighty, you screen share, you solo uh, for the back to back. Bro, I'm zero player. Like, how the fuck would I do that? Then why did you want to stay? <laughs> Honestly, that's what better than expected, not gonna lie. Two dragon axes and warrior ring, let's fucking go. Okay, I'm going back to crabs. So it appears we finished 86 kills in that very first trip, which honestly, quite a success, I'd say. And we ended up getting the warrior's ring, which isn't very useful. We'll probably do a lot more of these in the future. But for now, let's go train a little bit more defense and see where we stop. Bro, I had a task for a hellhounds and my chat was telling me to go to the catacombs. And you know what I said? I don't know what the fuck a catacomb is. And I went to the need. <laughs> Listen, buddy, I took a fucking task from uh, what, what, the current the oh, fucking... No. Yeah. She said and friend. Why did he do that? Yeah, because I don't know, dude. I, I needed like brimstone key or something. <laughs> yeah, so we, brimstone key so we can have money even though 92 got a fucking 15 mil emblem yesterday. Or 92 got a six 92 got a 16 mil emblem yesterday. Holy Nika, fuck. just go get a new task, bro. Go fucking bro, bro. I have a, right. dude, I don't we got, we got get I'm gonna be slayer, honest. Mika. Get 40 slayer, you absolute sack. Four, of shit. I can get, get 40. 40. I'll get 40 just for you tomorrow. And I'm then once you get 40. I'll come back to you, trouble. and I'll give you a new task. All okay? right, all right, all right. It will be royal trouble. I'll get 40 done at some point. All right, so I believe I will be ending today's video on the Krebs, my favorite place in the game, pretty much. Uh, at this point, I'm slowly working towards 99 defense, and I do think in the next episode, I will actually start slaying properly. I know I had an idea of slaying in this episode, but then I kind of ended just being busy, and they have gained Krebs all the way to 99, which, you know, is not a bad thing. We have the cape now. I still want to get 99 defense, but probably will look to train Slayer along the way. Anyway, Anyways, as always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. A lot more PVMing will be happening in the future with the boys. Today we had a nice little taste of DKs and I really enjoyed it. So that being said, I'll see you again very, very soon with another video. And until then, have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.